welcome in another sap tutorial of erp sap team today we will learn and discuss how to fetch the real estate module contract list in sap rem so we have a transaction code reiscn you just need to execute and you need to fill the company code and if you have detail of the contract type then you need to choose the contract type from z001 to z900 these are the customized uh, sap contract type in our case leasing out leasing building leasing land staff quarters and all so depending on the appropriate contract type you need to choose okay if you want to get the details of all the contract type from Z001 to Z900, then you can uh, fill all the contract type. And the next very important field you need to fill is business entity for contract, right? Here I have randomly filled J870 and B business entity for contract. <coughs> Just randomly, I have filled 281002. Depend in your case, you can fill your business entity for contract. See, these are the con partner list, company code list, rental object list, and these are the contract number. See, in my business entity, J281002. Uh, contract type Z870 we have only three contract type we have a option for the period like contract validity I'm just going to fill the date uh, just system please give me the contract details of all the contract whose validity is on 31st March 2024 and we have expanded the B from 002 to 009 see these are the contract list see and uh, contract type like staff quarter lease out details and all okay so you can easily fetch go to easily fetch the list list and export okay see in any company uh, the real estate management and real estate module we have a lot of option since we are in the telecom company so we have a lease out tower lease in tower and you can fill the bp business if you have business partner detail you can fill the business partner detail here okay and in the dynamic selection you can get the list depending on the various parameters okay for example <coughs> if you want to uh, get the list of the on the basis of contract name then you can fill the contract name and execute and cash flow from <clears throat> then you can fill the cash flow from from here you can fill the multiple data B for contract and all <clears throat> see this transaction code is a very important transaction code if you're working in ERP REM module and you are especially focusing on uh, all the lease out contract all the contract who is going to expire in the current month or within three months or within six months because if you are working uh, if you are invoicing every month uh, hundreds 200 or 300 invoices for the contract then this transaction through using this transaction code you are e easily manage that whose transaction is going to expire whose transaction going to expire in coming three to four months right in the real estate module first you have a land or building detail then you have a rental object right then you have created a contract on the basis of occupancy and then you are going to create the invoice or billing 
to your uh, lease in vendor or lease out customer right so depending on the circumstances uh, you can uh, get the data from SAP ERP REM module okay hope you like this tutorial because uh, this tutorial is very useful tutorial for you who are working in this field and please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friend who are working in this area right and if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section still not subscribe our channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest sap video updates have a good day Happy learning.